So She-Hulk has gotten another trailer. Um, this is a multi-year journey you're about to embark on. Being a Hulk asks for balance. <laughs> we need to talk about this. Uh, I was willing to give it more of a shot when I saw the first trailer. Uh, I thought to myself, okay, the CGI looks bad, but we'll see. Uh, the CGI has definitely improved, which is good. But with all the constraints that Marvel has had on their visual effects artists and stuff like that, I still do not think it's fair because some of the visual effects shots still look kind of iffy. Uh, and the strain that they're putting on their visual effects workers right now is very unfair, very unjust, especially with how many movies they're releasing and TV shows in between, and they have to do those on top of those movies. That's not fair to them. So obviously if the product doesn't look 100% great, from a visual standpoint, I completely understand. I am not blaming them at this point. I actually blame the studio for if the visual effects look bad in certain aspects. Um, but on top of that, I'll let you guys know this trailer, but the trailer before I thought looked really weird. So I didn't know how to think or I didn't know how to feel about it because I was like, Oh, okay, so it just looks weird, but at the same time, maybe it might still be good. This looks bad to me. I mean, we'll have to see. I'm really concerned. I mean, some shows have surprised me. I thought that What If was not going to be good. Uh, it ended up being a lot of fun. I thought Loki was a bad idea. It ended up being an okay watch. Uh, WandaVision, I liked it until the end of the series. Or... I think it was reverse. I liked it more at the end of the series, which was rare for a Marvel uh, product in Phase 4. Uh, but this just doesn't do it for me. Number one, you already know where I'm going with this. I'm a big Hulk fan. All right. I love the Hulk. He's actually, if you guys don't know my rankings in terms of superheroes, it's Batman, Spider-Man, The Hulk. Those are my three top tiers right there. So seeing The Hulk get crapped on a lot in this trailer hurts. I think I'm jealous. Is that what I'm feeling? And it's been happening with Marvel for a bit of time, and it's gotten even worse with She-Hulk. You mean to tell me The Hulk, this guy who's had all these abilities for years like this, years he knows how to use his strength and stuff like that especially as bruce banner using the hulk's body you mean to tell me that his cousin comes along and throws a boulder farther than him knows how to do certain things better than him when she just got her abilities i'm a tired of all this agenda bullcrap that they keep throwing in these movies Love and Thunder surprised me with Jane Foster not knowing how to do certain things or being as good as a certain character because she just had their abilities or similar abilities. She was still new to it. This, she's like, oh, I'm good just because I'm good. I'm tired of this agenda bullcrap that they keep throwing in this stuff and they're ruining characters because of it. Now I got that out of my system. Uh, overall, it doesn't look that great in terms of that. The humor doesn't do it for me. I think the humor looks really bad. I know the fourth wall breaks are from the comics. I get that. But the way they do it is also to bash the Hulk. If you want to go back to your life as a lawyer, I, I respect that. He doesn't mean that. And I am not okay with that. Uh, just because, like I said, I have a huge bias towards the Hulk. And seeing him get crapped on in the MCU recently has really, really hurt. It's almost like for Dragon Ball fans, if you guys know what I'm talking about, you guys love the character of Gohan, but then he just keeps getting crapped on over and over again. Uh, don't talk about the new Super movie. That is not that much of an improvement for him. Um, but also, like I said, just the overall story might be interesting with her being a lawyer and stuff like that. But even then, it doesn't look like they're going to be tackling that a lot. And... That's unfortunate. Uh, just overall, all the characters that they have in there, they just look really off. Like, I don't want to say, like, 
they're like bashing other characters to make her look better but it kind of seems like it i don't know why it's just i don't know we'll have to see how it goes um i am excited to see blonsky back which blonsky the abomination i will say that is an improvement from the incredible hulk is the design he, you know giving them that creature from black lagoon look that he had from the comic books i really do like that aspect to him uh, we'll have to see what happens with Blonsky because she's going to be representing him in this series. Uh, especially when he, he, like she mentioned, he tried to kill her cousin and stuff like that. So Serious conflict of interest. This man tried to kill my cousin, Bruce. Yeah, that's quite all right. Oh. Uh, we'll have to see what happens with that and with the Thunderbolts being announced as a part of the MCU lineup. Um, we'll have to see how that goes and what directions they're going to take that because obviously he's not going to die or anything bad's going to happen to him because he's going to be a part of the thunderbolts um so we'll have to see what happens there and uh they may be leading up to a red hulk as a part of the thunderbolts as well with general ross we'll have to see how that may go or anything like that um if i had one major positive thing to say about this and it's, I'm glad they did it because it was the one thing that I knew if the show wasn't good, I would at least like to see it. Daredevil showing up in She-Hulk. Now, you notice how they didn't show his face? That's because we all know it's Charlie Cox. But they're trying to save it for that moment where people can go, oh! You know, so I'm excited to see that, see what happens with that. Um, but yeah, this trailer really is a mixed bag for me. And... Um, I, I don't know what to say. It's just... Well, anyways, let's go ahead and move on. Um, I'm done talking about this. If you Comment down below what you guys thought of the trailer. How does it look? Do you think it's all... Do you think I have the same mindset as me where they're just bashing the Hulk just to make her seem better because she's a female Hulk? Do you have like a different mindset that they're just like, no, maybe she was like this in the comics before, which we all know is bullcrap. Do you guys have different mindsets on this? I would like to hear your guys' mindsets. Maybe I'm just being nitpicky because I love the Hulk so much that I'm not willing to accept another figure as a Hulk. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just bias. Maybe it is. I don't know. But comment down below what you guys think of the trailer. And as always, if you guys like the video, make sure to subscribe today to join the Isolization.